Today I'm going to show you how to change your Discord font so it looks a little fancier and a little bit nicer. First off, just before I start, I just want to say that we are using Better Discord, which is against Discord's terms of service. This means that if you use it and send a screenshot to a Discord staff member of you using Better Discord, you can get banned. So use this at your own risk. Chances are you should be fine, but you still have that risk of being banned. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Anyways, go to the first link in the description and click on download v1.2.3 or whatever version it is. Click on your little download link and open up the installer. And while the installer is opening up, let's just go to the second link in the description, Google Fonts. Oh, hold on. Windows protected your PC. Don't worry about this. Just click more info, click run anyways. Why am I so confident about this? Well, I've used Better Discord for quite a while and nothing bad has happened to me. Moreover, it's been vetted by the community itself. You should be fine. Next up, all you want to do is click I accept the license agreement. You need to click on the words because sometimes this box doesn't work. Just click on the box or the words, enable the check mark, click next, then click next on install better discord. Then you need to select your discord version. Chances are just click on each one of these. And when you are able to select one, just click install. Chances are you're going to be using discord. So click on the top one first, then click install. It will install better discord and it will restart your discord. Now we need to go to the second link in the description and you will see Google fonts. Click on the download button and you will download this .js file. We do not need to open it up through Chrome. We can close Chrome, except for this video that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. And when you do that, you should get this pop up in better discord saying better discord, blah, blah, blah. Just click on X, then go to your user settings, then go scroll down to plugins. Then in this plugins thing, you just need to click open plugins folder. And when you do that, it will open up a folder in File Explorer and you will see plugins. This will be blank, by the way. Then all you need to do is you just need to right click on downloads, then click open a new window, and you will see this better Discord Google Fonts plugin.exe in your downloads. You just want to drag that into the plugins folder that popped up. When you do that, all you need to do is go back into Discord and click on enable. And there you go, Google Fonts are now enabled. So once you turn on the plugin, all you need to do is go into settings and you will get a drop down list that you have to click on with a whole bunch of fonts. Now it won't give you the preview for each font, so the best thing to do is go to the third link in the description and you will see Google Fonts. And this is where you get to scroll through a whole bunch of fonts and just see what's what. Just keep in mind that if you are using Discord in English, chances are Noto Sans Korean won't work because, you know, uh, A does not necessarily mean a symbol in Korean. But pick a font you want. In this case, I really want to burn my eyes, so I'm going to pick Festive. I'm going to go back to Discord, then search for Festive, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the rear. Festive, Festive, F, Festive. There we go, and click Done. And wow, look, it's impossible to read Discord. Yeah. So if you want to pick a different font, you can just go through the list and randomly pick stuff. But like I said before, uh, you could always just go to Google Fonts and actually select a font that you want. In this case, I'm going to pick a font that I know and I use quite frequently. I'm going to pick Open Sans Semi Bold, if that is an option of bold. Open Sans, L-M-N-O-P-Q, Open Sans. There we go, Open Sans, click Done, and there we go. So that's how you change the font. And this font change actually works on normal Discord chats. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell because this isn't like a crazy, crazy font. But if I go back to user settings, then go to plugins, and I just turn off the plugin and go back to Discord, now it'll look normal. So yeah, it basically just changes the font and everything. It's really cool. Keep in mind though, like it won't change fonts in photos, obviously, because it's a photo. But anyways, I'm not going to treat you like you're stupid because I know you guys aren't. But Let's say you're done with this. You just don't want the font anymore. You don't want better Discord. Ah, it scares you. Well, all you need to do is first, you need to make sure the installer is closed. Uh, this would be really unfortunate if you installed it, then didn't want it and uninstalled it right away. But go to your downloads folder and click on your better Discord Windows installer. Then once you open it up, it'll be the same process. You need to accept the license agreement. You can read this if you want. I never have. Then go down to uninstall better discord, click next. Then you want to select the discord version that you installed better discord to. So remember how I was clicking through them and I clicked on discord canary and it turned blue. I'm going to click on discord canary again and click uninstall. For you, you're probably just going to click on discord at the top. It's just different release versions of discord. Don't worry about it. Just click on it. And when you click uninstall, it should restart your discord and it should be back to normal. If you go into your user settings, you won't have better discord in there anymore. 
And that's it, sweetheart. You got it. Slappy, you horny devil dog. Anyways, I love you guys. <laughs>